a drop shot would be good here, I feel like. I got some of those Kitek ones you got. Those things are crazy. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's got it. Got his ass. God, what's with my drag? There we go. Sniped him. There we go, guys. Little bass, little one and a half pounder probably. We'll take that. Oh my, dude, that's the tank. I can't see him anymore. Dude, that was huge. Here, you snipe him. I see the big ones. Got him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, on the drop shot. Yeah, man, for this pond, I mean, if you're fishing anywhere else, you would call this a dink, but look, we're fishing a little ditch right now. Come on now. Parker was throwing a wacky rig. I switched to a drop shot with a little finesse worm and got this beautiful fish. Thank you for biting. This water is also super clean and you can see the fish cruising all over the place. Yeah, I seen them just cruising out in the middle. So I pitched my worm right out there and one of them picked it up, but that was not the big one. That was not the big one I saw. Oh, dude, there's a giant. Really? Oh my god, it's a tank. Oh my, you see it? Yeah. Oh my god, dude, that's a tank. He sees it. Dude, he's going toward it. He's got it. Got him. I got the big one. Dude. Yes, sir. Oh my god, you get the tank. Frozen tank. Oh. <laughs> Look, dude. Dude, is a tank. There we go, guys. On the finesse worm right there. Drop shot. I saw this bass cruising, so I pitched my worm in the direction he was heading, and I just let it sit there, and then he slowly made his way, barely twitching that worm towards just gently wiggling in the water, and that bass came up. Just a beautiful fish, probably pushing two pounds, which for this tiny ditch, that's a big fish, man. So much fun on the finesse gear too. He probably had his nose on that worm for 20, 30 seconds before he actually picked it up. Just barely twitching it, just leaving it in the same spot and he ate it. So let's get him back. For this tiny dish, man, there's a lot of big bass. And by big, I mean one, two pounders. He's bleeding a little bit because the hook nicked his gill, but he should be all right. He's not bleeding bad at all. There he goes, man. Wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's good stuff. Dude, yes sir. That's that's definitely one of the bigger ones in the pond. That, right here, man. that gotta be probably like it has to be. Right, that would be awesome. <laughs> oh here we go. You got him? Nice. <laughs> it's a little bluegill. Dude, that's a big bluegill. What are you talking Look about? Look at this guy. Instant, dude. Do you ever notice bluegill just like instantly go for it? He's going in the middle. Someone's got it. Got him. That's a good one. That's a decent one. That's Deso. That's probably like the second biggest I caught today. Oh, oh that's the muskrat. God, dude, he's got a hole right here. That scared the shit out. I was like, what is that? There's one. Uh, I'm not sure. That's a decent one, yeah. Hey, it's a. Yeah, that's one of the nice ones. Yeah. Yes, sir. There we go, man. Hooked right on a piece of skin. See that? Top of the mouth. I have been fly fishing, looking for the school of big ones, roaming around, but I haven't seen them for a minute, so I figured to take a blind cast right in the middle. And right on the fall, this guy picked it up. I will take it. Oh, here we go. Dude. I'm catching dinks. I caught three bass that little session in this little tiny ditch. Parker caught like four or five bass and, and like bluegill. 10 bluegill. So <laughs> Parker got some bass and some bluegill. They're just a school of probably at least four or five different two pound bass just cruising around. And every single chance I saw them, I would pitch my bait in front of them and very finesse working that worm. And I got some of them to bite, but we're gonna head over to pond number two. <gasps> These guys are awesome. Look at this. Oh. What the fuck was that? Bro, they cut this all. All right, I'm starting right here. You know they're right here. Ready? First cast. First cast magic. Oh, got him. I'm not surprised. Bro, 
He's a tank. Really? I haven't even seen him yet. That's a nice one. <laughs> He's a tank. He's a tank. He's not, what, two pounds? Oh my God. These things are so aggressive. God damn, he's got me all wet. <laughs> what the fuck? Got you all wet, huh? Yeah, apparently. At this point. Bro, catch a fish. You don't have anything. No, what the fuck? You're a bastard. Freaking react, dude. That's a chub. I didn't even see anything. I was gonna see how long it took for you to notice. Yeah, whatever. Two pounder, two pounder. See, that's a good fish. I love how healthy the fish are in here. Yeah, they're crazy. So fat. You want to see a two pounder? Right here, ready? This is a two pounder right here. See you, buddy. I'm just throwing a double willow blade spinner bait. Shad color with a swim bait trailer. Um, what do you use the double willow? What do you like about that? Why do you not use like double Colorado or something? Typically, Colorado blades are better for like dirtier water. Yeah. Because they're more vibration and less flash. Yeah. And willow blades are more flash and less vibration, which I like these more in clear water. All right, I'm getting away from you. Oh, you're making me so mad. <laughs> Wait, what was I saying? I hate you. That's a, I can't even tell how big it is, dude. It's a good one. Got one. Right where Parker got done fishing. Another probably two pounder, just a fatty. I hey. see him. Here's I see him. He's good looking bass. That's what a two pounder looks like. I know. God, he's got stabbed. Another cast in the corner. Hey. You're How? missing fish. See another one? Dude, the bass are all over in this corner. What are you talking about? You shouldn't have left. I don't know why I did. Might be switching. That's nice, dude. Yep, just another bass on a spinner bait, dude. I've <laughs> been to this new pond for maybe five minutes or so, a little more. <laughs> We've caught like four fish already. There's one. Might be a better one. I don't know. I'm not too sure. He tried to come up to jump a couple times. Hey, nice, dude. Nah, about the same size. That's the first uh, time I've seen a bass over there. Maybe a pound and a half, just because he's so fat and healthy. So yeah. So far, all on the spinner bait in this pond. Got one. You're joking me. This is what I've been looking for? Bluegill? I didn't really want a bluegill. There is one. You got one? Yeah, first one on the spin, uh, underspin. I think it's a crappie actually. Yeah, it is. Multi-species slab crappie. Probably 11, 12 inches. Yep, not surprised, caught him on the underspin. Little swim bait. Catch a lot of crappie on swim baits. He's got a little black stripe going down, kind of little splotches. Thank you for biting. All right, we're listening to you. I'm going crankbait craw. Are you kidding me? What? First cast with the crankbait. Dude. I switched over to a lipless crank and a, a red craw pattern. First cast. Bite really slowed down lately, man. What lipless is that? Rathla. Nice. What's the pattern? Oh, that's nice. I like that. Chartreuse belly, red craw, one and a half pounder. That's Thank a good one, biting. dude. Yeah, we don't have much time left. We're about to head out here probably 15 minutes or so, but. Switched over to a new bait, flipless crank and first cast. Oh, you got him? Oh, wow, he's tugging. How big is it? I don't know. He's not that big, I don't think. Damn, that's tank. Pretty happy about that. Good choice of the crankbait, dude. Yes, sir. Oh, 
almost broke my ankle in that hole right there. Anyways, we're done. We're leaving out, guys. Started out fishing in that tiny ditch, caught some good bass on finesse style baits, little soft plastics, chop shots, wacky rigs. And then we came over to a bigger pond and I caught the majority of the fish on spinner baits. You were using chatter baits, swim jigs. Chatter baits. And then Crank. here at the last minute, we switched to some crankbaits. Caught a couple fish and we are about to head out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely consider subscribing to the channel if you guys are new. If you enjoyed, give this video a like. See you guys next time.